Hello, good afternoon. So I'm here to present my paper titled A Way Through Pandemic, Daoist Insights During the COVID-19 Crisis. So the purpose of my paper is to explore the philosophical insights of Taoism and its relevance to the current pandemic. Also to reflect and extract relevant and practical insights from the Taoist philosophy and to apply them in addressing the challenges brought by the pandemic. The COVID-19 crisis continues to bring woes all around the world. Millions of individuals have been infected and thousands have already died because of the dreadful disease. In the Philippines, cases continue to multiply where thousands of Filipinos are still on the active case list. While hope was rekindled because of the recent news that vaccines were already available, unfortunately, the damage has been done. The pandemic did not just bring a world worldwide public health crisis, but arguably it provoked an existential one. Consequently, this prompted many Filipinos to rethink and to reprioritize various aspects of their lives. While they are known for their resilience, none of them are invulnerable to the fear, uncertainties, and other inevitable disturbances brought by the current crisis. Based on the survey conducted by the Social Weather Stations, or SWS, the current crisis bought, brought a great challenge, particularly to the mental health of majority of Filipinos. As of the moment, various efforts are directed towards an alternative ways to cope with the crisis. In this paper, however, I have highlighted the ancient wisdom of Taoist philosophy, particularly Lao Tzu's Taoism. It emphasizes that people should live in harmony with nature, in accordance with the flow of nature, in harmony with the Tao. I contend in this paper that these Taoist insights would help us handle our lives during the pandemic, and possibly up to the post-pandemic. Hence, this paper focuses to extract insights from the Taoist philosophy, particularly the two essential principles, the principle of Wei Wu Wei and the principle of Yin and Yang. The principle of Wei Wu Wei is perhaps one, if not the most mysterious paradoxes in Chinese philosophical thought. It is usually translated as action through inaction. However, this does not mean that no activity at all. It means that activity is done less without unnecessary, excessive, or extreme efforts. At first, the Wei Wu Wei may appear as a resemblance of the Filipino famous saying or attitude of quote unquote, quote unquote, bahala na. However, we should never misconstrue it as if it bears the same meaning. The principle of Wei Wu Wei is not characterized by being passive nor being fasted. And also, it does not mean to surrender. The concept of Wei Wu Wei means actions are restricted to what is necessary and what is natural. Simply put, it is a mode of action that seeks to adjust and be flexible instead of moving against the flow of the given situation. On the other hand, the principle of yin yang explains that there is an essential unity of life through the interaction of opposites. It is common that we encounter opposites such as left and right, up and down, day and night. Simply put, there are always two sides to everything. There are opposites and usually these opposites are in conflict. This is a typical perspective in the Western context. However, in Taoist perspective, these opposites are not in conflict, but rather they are interdependent. There is an interplay between the opposites and this relationship is symbiotic. These opposite elements will mutually transform into each other in a process of balancing. One extreme creates the opposite extreme, and vice versa. Moreover, Taoism teaches us not to prefer or to choose one side against the other, but rather we should reflect and observe how one grows from the other. Consequently, the tendency of nature is to shift continuously to a state of steadiness and order. Life is a system in which there is a constant transition taking place, one thing flowing into another, one thing becoming another. Now, applying these Taoist insights to the current issue, I conclude that the crises, such as caused by the pandemic, are inevitable realities of life. 
which though has corresponding consequences, both or either destructive and life-changing. Hence, it is very essential to cope with the crisis as it opens the door to further growth. There is no doubt that we Filipinos are resilient. In every crisis situation, we are able to proudly hold our ground because of our solid belief of quote-unquote, lahat ng bagay kayang lampasan. However, the current pandemic has tested this belief more than ever before. While Filipinos are ingenious in making ways to cope and manage themselves during this COVID-19 crisis, most of the ways we use to cope and manage our lives during this crisis seems insufficient and deemed as improper. We overly exert too much effort in battling the contagion. We have shaken the balance between crisis and peace, courage and fear, safe and unsafe, by choosing one side over the other. Consequently, instead of addressing the situation, it appears that we have made it worse. Nevertheless, the Taoist perspective gave us a window of opportunity to reflect various aspects of our lives, particularly on how to deal with such crises. The crisis should teach us to look at life on a bigger picture. We should learn how to deal with it in a right way. We should deal with the current crisis in a way not being overcomplacent or overreactive. That is, our reactions must not be forced. Instead, do it in a manner without exerting too much effort. We need to recognize that when our reactions are excessive, it leads to undesirable consequences. Overcommitment to safety and overdoing the ways to achieve it gives more harm than doing nothing. If we limit our reactions to what is necessary and natural, then there is a much better chance that we can better manage our lives during this trying time. Moreover, as we deal with the current pandemic, the tendency for us to choose one experience from the other, such as choosing between fear and courage or crisis and peace, it seems counterintuitive not to choose courage over fear, of course, peace over crisis. But my point here is that choosing one side over the other during the pandemic or any given crisis is not the proper way to deal with it. As illustrated in the principle of yin-yang, these opposite experiences are not actually in conflict, but rather they are complementary and in harmony with, in harmony with one another. We know what crisis is because we know what peace is. We know what fear is because we know what courage is. What we can infer from this is that one creates the other. Therefore, there is a symbiotic relationship and mutual dependence between the two experiences. That being said, reframing our perspective in life can be very beneficial to us as this opens a new window of opportunity to view life as something made out of diversity but unified. I am not here to assert that each and every one of us should be a Taoist, nor follow Lao Tzu's advice to leave society and be with or reunite with nature. My point is to consider their practical way, their valuable insights and principles. Partnered with our resiliency, this Taoist way on how to view life and how to live it is definitely a game changer on how we can deal and manage our lives during any given crisis in life, in particular, the current pandemic. To reiterate, this paper has no intent whatsoever to convert ourselves to be a full-fledged Taoist. Rather, my paper emphasizes that we must also recognize and give credit to the ancient wisdom, as even today, its insights and proposed way or ways are quite relevant and practical. It teaches us to accept the reality of crisis as one of the integral parts of life and to deal with it in an effortless manner. Go with the flow. Be like water. It proved that coping and managing does not require a hard way to do it. In fact, the best way to deal with a pandemic is doing nothing. So that ends my presentation. Thank you.